Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Um, someone had wanted to know how to do a technique here, so um, I put this little bar out. What it was was a Merry Christmas that sets on top here. Uh, Merry, and then the Christmas was actually inside, and it has kind of the wave effect. But it was a really different technique because the Merry sat on top, and it was... In Canvas, it's called Weld, um, but in Scal here, it's called Union. But it was a really different technique because the bottom part of the Y was cut out of this piece, but the Mary sat on top. And it's easy to do, you would think, um, but I'll show you why it's not. So let's just pick, I'm just going to pick up a, a regular uh, font here. So, oops, I forgot to click out of that. So make sure you click out of it or it will change that on you. So let's click this. Let's come over here. And type out our little words here. Okay. So I want to grow this a little bit. So that it's easily readable. Okay. I'm actually going to get rid of that. Uh, I need to grow this so that my Christmas will fit in there. Okay. And then I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. And to make it thicker, you come over to the wrench shadow rounded and I come in and actually change mine to 0 0.03 and that usually works so we'll do both of them 0 0.03 and to save time I could have highlighted and did both of them oh come on okay so now I'm going to come up here to effects and let's do the wave and you can mess around with this and do it however you want okay so that looks okay for that one and I'm going to set this right up here and you can come in ungroup course I can't ever catch that the right way and you can move this around put it where you want all right to make it look a little better if the wave doesn't exactly capture it the right way or give you what you need okay so let's do this okay I'm going to change the color so I can see it. Because this is actually going to go inside. And I'm going to turn it tad. Let's put it down a little bit. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm only I only want to catch. Actually, let me come in here. We're going to group the Mary. I'm going to come. I'm just highlighting the Christmas and that little banner piece. Alright. I'm going to come up here to path. I'm going to click back minus front. Okay, so now that is all one piece the Christmas is actually cut out of that now as you can see all right now this little Mary is gonna be a little tricky and I will show you how I do this I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna duplicate it because what I need here 
and take the knife and I'm going to cut off this little bottom piece. Okay. All right. So I just took the knife and I cut off this little bottom piece. And I'll show you why. All right. Let's set all this back down on here. Come up to path and do your union because you don't want you want all the the letters to join together. You don't, didn't want to leave that R um, separate there. You want it all together like it's an actual cursive word. Okay. So now let's highlight it all. Okay, so we have it highlighted, but I forgot. We need to address this little doohickey up here. So we have all of this together. This is perfect, but um, I need to show you how to do something here. So let's highlight this little guy. We're going to come up here, and we're going to click Close Path. We need this to be a closed path. Okay, and then we're going to drag this little guy down here. And we're going to put it about right there. We need it to look like it's finishing off the Y. But we also need to leave enough paper in there that that top Y is still going to be attached. Okay, we're going to highlight all of this. We're going to come up here. And you can either click exclude or back minus front. And there you go. Okay, so that's what's going to give you um, the cutouts that lie in the banner and then the words that write on top. So any parts that you want cut out, um, you're just going to duplicate it, take the knife and cut through them, and then highlight them and click close path. All right, don't forget that step. All right, so pay attention. You want to go up to path and click close path. You really need to do that or you're going to end up with just kind of a white dot right in here. All right, actually you'll end up with just see that black dot right there. That's all you'll end up with. So it won't really look like anything. Okay, guys. All right, have a good day. If you have any questions, you can find me over at Scan and Cut canvas and scal help on facebook um i am there all the time so you can come over there and ask me any questions that you might have